Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for MotionTutorials.net with a new awesome tutorial for After Effects and Premiere 2017 about how you can use After Effects animations like this lower third we have here to create live editable text templates for Premiere like we have here where you can quickly and easily edit the text and create a custom template in After Effects that'll be editable in Premiere with all of your After Effects animation in place. This episode is brought to you by Artbeats Express. Create a free account at Artbeats Express stock media by subscription and receive complimentary broadcast quality resolution content files. No credit card payments or obligations are required. Click the link for more details. And real quick, you might have noticed I have some fun new theme music. So that's from Rigo Asaguera. If you want to check him out and get some music for your YouTube channel, it's at soundcloud.com slash Asavera or facebook.com slash Asavera official. He did an awesome job on my music and I'm really excited about it. So anyway, let's get to this. So what we have here is this After Effects animation I made for this lower third. And there's all the standard stuff you'd want to create an After Effects. There's some keyframe animation, some effects, motion blur, easing, all sorts of stuff. And now with Creative Cloud 2017, you can export this After Effects animation as a text template, bring it into Premiere, and then like we see here, all of our animation is in place in our program window with all that same After Effects animation. And we can go to our settings and totally change the words and it's going to automatically update and all of that animation from after effects works and we can have multiple instances of each lower third where you can change the text so it's not a one-off thing you could create one lower third template and use it across an entire project or send it to premiere if someone's editing your project that doesn't want to dive into after effects you can set up one and don't have to render out a ton of them so it's a really cool new update let's talk about how this is set up so first we'll talk about what's going on in After Effects and how to get this correctly set up so it'll work the way you want. So here I have this quick little animation and I wanted to push this as far as I could with trying to make it complex with things that you would build in After Effects like motion blur, adding effects, changing the easing and see if it all works as good as I hoped it would and it does. So we have two text assets right here. I have this name and that's my name and subtitle, which is my website. And this is really important. So by default, when you create new text and you type it, so if I just type my name, the layer name is going to be whatever that is. And that's actually going to be what is live when we jump into Premiere. When you can adjust your After Effects editable text, you can see it says name and subtitle here, even though in After Effects it typed in my name and website. So if you were to do this, it's really important, no matter what you have, even if your text is a placeholder, you're gonna to wanna to press enter and rename this, whatever you want to show up in Premiere, so it's clear. So if I just left it as my name without renaming this, that's what's gonna show up and it's not gonna be very clear to someone else what that is, especially if I had something like 30 editable text fields. So we have our text animation in After Effects. So far, that's the one thing that you can send over. You can get a little more crafty with expressions to make different fields dynamic, but it's not very simple yet. Hopefully more will come in the future. But what we would do is create this animation in After Effects at the size we want, so at 1920 by 1080. And then in After Effects, in our project window, we're gonna right click and we're gonna export composition as text template. So we'll do that, we'll save our project. And it's going to open our save window and we want to save this as an AE cap file. So we'll just call this L3 template 03 because I did a couple tests. It's going to export that. And then in Premiere, let's just delete these. And all I have is some footage from a different tutorial and I want to add some lower thirds. Now all I got to do is go to import. So file import or command I. And I'm going to locate that AE cap file. So I'll just select that import. It's gonna ask which composition I had, so I could have multiple compositions with text templates, and I'm gonna to go to OK. And then I can bring that down into my sequence. I don't need the audio on this. And now if I scrub through, I can see in my program monitor that I have my lower third animation. I can do your standard things that you would in Premiere, like reposition it where I want it to. Now for the live text, you'll see up here, there's this master L3 option that's new. 
If we click that, you can see now I have editable fields for everything that I set up. So I could change this to whatever I want. I could change this to a subtitle. As you can see, I'm not a copywriter. So I'm not coming up with anything clever here. And all of our animation correctly updates. You can see I'm getting that same animation I created in After Effects with the motion blur, the blurring effect coming in, the parenting setup, and it all works. And what's nice is we could set this as a template and you could still then add effects in Premiere if we wanted this to fade out. We could animate the opacity or just get a cross dissolve effect and we could then animate these out. You could add extra effects on each one if you wanted to add something like a drop shadow. You could then add that separately in Premiere if you wanted. And what's great about this is once we have one of them set up, I can grab this clip, hold Alt slash Option, drag it over, and it's going to make another copy up here. And now if I scrub through, we can go edit this one and put something else clever in these fields or just type that out. And you can see now that one is separate from our first one. So we could reuse this one template for an entire show, only creating it once and then doing all of the text updates in Premiere. So it would save a ton of time. So let's jump back into After Effects real quick and talk about some technical things because maybe you do all of this and you change it and then you want to update it or make a new one. Let's say now we actually needed to make this different colors. So let's make this kind of bluish and we'll make our text blue here. Well, it doesn't work if we just replace that file. So we do need to right click again, export composition as text template, and we could replace it, but we would still have to import it and redo a bit of the work. So I'll just save this as template 04. And then in Premiere, we could bring in this new one and it's a little bit of work if we would want to update these we could still do the trick of holding alt and hovering over this template to replace it. And then you just have to go back and type in the updated word. So even if you had to update this a bunch of times, that's still pretty quick and a lot faster than rendering out a ton of lower third updates. And it's a really cool new feature once you get the hang of it. And if you want to save some time and try out this template I created, I'm giving it away for free. If you head over to the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials, like the page, send me a message, and I'll send you a link to download templates of this so you can customize it for your own project, figure out how it's made, and get a look at it. And for more tutorials and content, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have tons of After Effects, Premiere, Cinema 4D, and motion graphics and 3D tutorials on all sorts of topics for beginner intermediate and advanced users. I'm always putting up new tutorials, new content, also some fun products in the store, whether you're working with After Effects, Element 3D, Cinema 4D, or video co-pilot products like Element 3D and Saber. I got tons of fun and affordable products in the online store, so check that out at motiontutorials.net. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video.